Yon. Hi everyone, I am here with a Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a good day. Guess what we got in the mail today? We got a card from Claire. She sent us a card. And she put stickers all in it. <laughs> and stickers on the back. She collared the front of it. She's our little cousin. She's one year old. <laughs> we sent her a bunch of stickers. And she collared it all over the card and sent, decorated it with stickers and sent it back to us. And it was so adorable. Her first card and she sent it to us. That is so cute. That was such a surprise when we got that today. It's been lost in the mail because that was dated for July 3rd and we just got it today on the 30th. The envelope was really dirty or that it was lost in the mail. I haven't, we hadn't got no mail in a long time. Somebody else had brought mail or somebody else had got mail from, I don't know who brought it to our door this morning or somebody else had got our mail. Okay, today we are going to be reading Romans chapter 13 and a very popular psalm, Psalm 23 and Proverbs chapter 20 verse 11 in the King James Version. All right, let's get started with Romans. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be or are ordained to God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordainus of God. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. This is Paul speaking, by the way. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore, ye must needs be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. For, for this cause, pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render, therefore, to all their dues. Contribute to them. Tribute is due. Custom to whom custom. Fear to whom fear. Honor to whom honor. Owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ill, to his neighbor. Therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. And that knowing the time that now it is not high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, 
not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lusts thereof. And that is where we're going to stop with Romans today. So, Paul is basically saying, telling you the commandments, basically, there at the end. And the greatest commandment of all, Jesus was telling you over and over and over. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your strength, and all your soul. And the second is as, is as great as the first. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love. Love, 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 love. That is the greatest commandment. Love one another. Jesus could not preach that enough. Okay. Psalm 23. This is the most popular psalm, I believe. And it's read a lot at funerals. I've seen it in a lot of funeral cards and heard it at a lot of funerals. But it's a very popular psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And that was Psalm 23. Another beautiful psalm, the most popular psalm. And ending today's Bible reading is Proverbs chapter 20, verse 11. Even a child is known by his doings, whether his work is pure and whether it is be right and whether it be right whether he's a good child or a bad child. All right, guys, let me go over the um, prayer requests. Okay, please keep Bridget Boggs and her family in your prayers. Bridget's birthday was yesterday. She turned 40 like I did this month. Um, please keep April Thacker and her family in your prayers. Please keep Sherman Crabtree in your prayers. He's still having a lot of trouble with his arm and hand, his finger. His One of his fingers is completely numb and cold and tingly. It's completely cold. There's no circulation to it at all. Something's got to be done about it. It's not right. Some, something's totally wrong with it. Please keep him in your prayers and pray that the doctor sends him somewhere to the right person to figure out what's going on. Because something's not right. And it really, really bothers him. Michelle Watkins and Andrew. Michelle really needs something done with her feet. They give her a, an extreme amount of pain. Layla and her son Emil. Layla hasn't been feeling well. Please pray for her. Cindy and Jim Welsh. Jim just had surgery on his toe today. Please keep him in your prayers. Rhonda Karshner. She's been having a headache. Please keep her in your prayers. Abby Myers. Uh, Matthew Simpson and Jimmy Myers. Abby's uh, COVID test was negative. 
Thank you for the prayers for her. Amen. Praise the Lord. And Jimmy got switched to a different medicine today. Please pray that his new medication works well for him. Dora Carper, Norman Karshner, Pat Dempsey, Melody Stanley, Eric Stanley, Randy Post, Garnet Boyer, Jim Mitchell, Elizabeth Jeffries. Elizabeth's been having a lot of pain in her hip and shoulders. Please pray that um, the doctor puts her on a good medicine to control her pain. She's in her 80s, so, you know, she's going to hurt a lot, and the doctor needs to give her something to control her pain. Ray Dunlap, he's got Veneer's disease, so please keep him in your prayers. Tabitha Clary, she has ALS, and um, she doesn't seem to be doing very well. So please keep her in your prayers. Um, Judy Thompson, she's doing really bad with her gastroparesis. And Henry Reffitt. All right, guys. So a lot of things going on with everybody with the prayer requests. All right, guys. Um, that was everything for the Bible reading today. I'll be back here in a little bit with the Bible study if you guys want to join me tonight. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus and God willing. I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye guys. God bless.